guys seem like the white writing on this is a little darker, a little bigger. I'll have to see, I'll have to compare it to my big bike. All right, and it came with, let me get this ripped open real quick. And this is a 14 too, so that's perfect. So this one's the longer bolt. The shorter bolt will go on the chain tensioner. Uh, looks like this. And this will go on that one. It fit, this one fits every single one except for that one. And this one only fits this one. I did, it was a little bent from, from whenever it was tightened with the engine, so I had to like bang it with a hammer. Other than that, the lineup is boop. Look at that. And that's not even all the way on. That's just as a test. Oh yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be supreme. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be perfect. Um, I'll line this one up real quick. Let's see if it goes on pretty easy. I know the the bolt will go in easy. I just hope it'll line up to this. And this easy also. Oh, bro, it's a perfect fit. Look at that. It's like made for it, man. It's like made for this. Like truly, y'all. Oh, 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 are you seeing this? Are you seeing how perfect this is? And then this will tighten down. I know it only tightened down a little bit because then I need to use a tool because it's hard. And then once you, once I get the chain on, I'll, sh I'll show y'all how I'll t how the chain tension works. Most people know. And you just tight, I'll tighten this until it tightens the chain. And then once it's tightened, this will get, uh, not loosen, tight, this will get tightened upward to tighten it. So right now we want a little bit of space. So just a quick show. Oh my gosh, dude. Anyway, I'm waiting on a chain. So I decided to keep going. Um, the noisy cricket. I took out of the quad along with the uh, Melissa battery. It's a 72 volt, 34 AH. I don't want to use my uh, silver metal metal case battery yet, but I noticed that the controller will fit pretty good right here. I'm probably going to zip tie all four all four holes to these to these right here. So let's go ahead and just get these in place. I'm using the QS8s. Let's see, uh, negative over here. Started. So we go down here. Sneak it under. way we're just gonna fit it right in between these two like that so let's go ahead and get a better view get it as straight as I can wiggle that thing in place as straight as possible oh. <laughs> look at that man look at that look how perfect that is I'm excited about it, man, because we're set up now. Let's see if the motor works once we uh, connect everything. I'll tighten everything down. The uh, switch. So I didn't have to take it off my bike. So I got one of those. Connect the mat. Here's my, this is your, my throttle. So my throttle will go through here, connect in here. Let me show you how that'll go real quick. Uh, well, my throttle will have a smaller piece on here. So it'll basically end up going in there, but this one will not. But I'll show you how it will fit, as it will fit into here. So it'll go into here like this, just like that, and then spin around like that, and then pull, 
and wind back into there. Um, but you see how that fit in there, which will look like this on this piece. We then go through here, this, this one, you actually can use this one. It fits, it works. And then it goes in there and then fits nicely in there. So anyway, that's our throttle, <clears throat> which we'll plug into here. There we go. Uh, let's connect our controller itself, which is this piece. And we, I just reminded myself that uh, I didn't put the this in, so we'll have to put that with the positive wire. So here we go, put this in first, here we go, we'll unscrew the, the positive wire. We'll just go ahead and put this on, there, there. Okay, like I said, this this handlebar thing will have to get fed over here, so we'll go ahead and plug that in. This there we go good. Uh, I got to strap the battery down. We will plug in the battery in a second. We got the throttle at least connected a little bit. The hall the hall wire will come up through here with these wires plug into here it goes we got the throttle wire in I think that's it what is this one this is 2d we still two voltmeter so we're gonna do a voltmeter with this one and that will plug into this guy but also feed over that way along with that so we'll just go ahead and click it in boom and that should give us voltmeter this way let's go ahead and keep these up here for now um all right so now let's plug in the battery uh, number one go we're at 79 volts i'm gonna go ahead and go to the app just a quick test, and remember the motor isn't all the way strapped down yet either. I am going to have to go to the throttle itself here. It's moving. Alright, that's all I wanted to see right there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Dude! Sorry about the excitement, man, but this is going to be so awesome, and I should have it ready by tomorrow, man. Oh, we got it to work out, so I got the power switch there. Probably gonna move it up to a key at some point. I'll have to clean up these wires for the lighting, <clears throat> get that all plugged in, and get the battery strapped down. Uh, the chain will be coming at 7 a.m., so get an early start. Get this thing finished. Let me show you this bolt. This is the bolt I'm talking about right there. But I think a 13 tooth would have made it just a little bit more in. All right, so the oil drain bolt. Um, if you don't cut it off and you leave it stock, um, you can run the 1340 gearing with the stock chain, but you can't run a 14 or a 15 tooth. The only way you'd be able to do that is if you add a half link to the stock chain. Um, other than that, you can run the 14, 15. I don't know if you can run a 14, but you can run a 15 and a 16. Um, with a bigger chain with one with uh, two more links in it. So I'll put the how many links are in each of these chains. Um, but the only way you can run that 16 link is if you cut the oil drain bolt head off and put a flathead uh, mark in there instead. And that's that. Tighten this back. Tighten it. Or actually, I should say loosen. Loosen this. Tighten it. Three. 